Hey. Hey. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, this evening we are in conversation with Lucas Aikens. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? We're good, we're good, we're good. It's a Friday night, so it's always good on a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just excited to find out more about you and what you do, sir. So. Yeah. But just before we start, the questions. I just want to say, Lucas, that during Black History Month, so the past couple of weeks, we have been speaking to what we class as role models, people from our community who are doing positive things. So what I would say is it's black excellence and you are you are one of those people. <laughs> Thank you. That's kind of <laughs> So we just want to know more about you. We want to know what inspires you, what motivates you. We just want to know about you because I don't know nothing about you. Mm -hmm. So there'll be many others that don't. Um, and we're hoping that your story and your journey is going to be inspirational to others as well. So let's. So I guess let's, yeah, <laughs> let's have an introduction of who you are and what you do. Yeah. So. Um... My name's Lucas Aikins. I'm um, I, I'm currently 31 years old, and I grew up in the Huddersfield area, um, actually in Cross Um And yeah, I was school schooled in Huddersfield. Um, grew up playing a number of sports and and, and just then trying a lot of things and trying to enjoy and find out what I, what I fancy doing. And um, I I really enjoyed football, and it's something that I pursued um, after leaving school. Um, I was at Huddersfield Town for, I was 12, I think, when I went into the academy and worked my way up till I was about 16. So when you leave school, you sort of go through a, through, um, a decision-making process where you can get a scholarship. So you sort of mix football with with um, college. It was it was Kirklees College at, at the time that I used to go one and a half days a week. And then, um, you know, you, you're playing full-time football as well um, alongside your education. Um, so you've got a voc vocation as, as well as your sport, just in case you don't make it, um, you can find other things to do. Um, okay. Yeah, I got a, got, a, got a professional contract after um, when I turned turned 18. And then, as they say, the rest is history. Wow. Okay, wonderful. Gosh. So question, what did you do your vocation in? It was, um, to be fair, it was just sports science. So we just, um, you know, getting to know a bit about the anatomy and, and how 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 sort of your body works as well and and, and things that are good for you that can aid you um to become yeah. the almost ultimate professional um and just 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 that really one and a half days a week yeah. um, it, it, it wasn't too strenuous or anything but it, it, it was enough for them to to educate you on it and, and and something to do as well lucas tell me you grew up in um cross lamar yeah um, when we think about Cross Lamar now, we know that that's one of the areas that there's a lot of, you know, youth violence. What was it like when you was growing up there? Again, when when I when I grew up there, it was, I suppose, in every every town, in every city, sort of thing. You get your areas where you know there's going to be violence and stuff like that. Um, but when I I just remember positive things when I grew up. Um, the the people that I hung around with. Um, you know, seem like seem like good people. Potentially, you know, people growing up, you you're gonna experiment and try different things. Um, but again, I was I was I was quite lucky that I had people that I'd look out for you. So they just sort of keep you away from from things like that. So um, I've got you know your your family members. I've got an older brother who's thirty months older than me, so he was someone to look up to. Um, and my sister as well, who, who's a lot older and, and <laughs> a bit stronger than me as well. So if I, <laughs> if I said that line, you know, she put me straight back in there. And then, um, <laughs> oh, pe pe people like that, my mum, my stepdad, stuff like that, they they, 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 they sort of protected us in in that sense. They, they give us responsibility and um, and, and things to, to go out and do what we needed to do. But mm -hmm. I, I suppose it's down to you when, once you come to a, uh, an age where you have to make them decisions for yourself and then deal with the consequences. So mm -hmm. it's, it is true, exactly like you said. There is, is potentially some 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 bad parts of of of, of the area across the mall, but that that's that's true for for most of the country. Um, yeah, it's just up to people to make that decision, I suppose. So tell me, Lucas, 
Where are your family? Where do they originate from? So my my mum is from Grenada and mm -hmm. my dad's from Karikou. Woo, woo. Um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and yeah, they, they came over when my mum my was was only young. She was she was four or five. Um okay. we, have, we, we have a bit of a joke because my dad was actually born here, but then went went back born here in England, but went out to, to mm -hmm. Karikou um with his and lived with his grand grandparents when up, up until he was about 40 so obviously he's still got a strong accent and uh, and stuff like that where my mum even though she was born there she came here at such a young age she sort of lost accent and stuff um she can mm -hmm. still put it on real quick when she she, she wants to get a point across but um <laughs> yeah, so, so obviously it, it's nice knowing that culture and, and where you're from and loads i've got loads of family um obviously who 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 are dotted around this country but obviously originally from there as well so um yeah have you been back? I've not been back. I didn't, didn't, oh, you know the funny thing? Um, I was, I was going to go back this March. I got um, called up to play for Grenade, the Grenadian um, national squad. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, I, I was literally going in March. And then, obviously, what, subsequently, <laughs> with lockdown and travel and all this sort of stuff. So it's it was quite unfortunate because I was, I was really looking forward to the experience because, obviously, I'm getting a bit older now in terms of football. Team, yeah. So I wanted to go back and, and see it because, you know, You've got to see where, where your yeah. parents are brought up, I personally feel. Have you guys been back? Oh, well, wow. my, <laughs> on my dad's side, they're from Karikou, and I went yeah. but I went a couple of years ago, yeah. and I went for a month. Yeah. And it was an experience. Yeah. I ended up going to Carnival in Grenada. It was an amazing experience. You've got to go. You've got to experience it. I'll take yeah. your word for that, definitely. And I'm Jamaican, so... All right. That's that's all I've known. My grandparents immigrated when I was about seven, so I spent every year there visiting right. them. So it's just home from home for me. Um, so yeah, it's you know, it's home. You've got to go. You need to experience yeah. it, and you've yeah. got to take the family seriously. It's, yeah. It'll change your life. Yeah, of course, oh, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. definitely so Lucas, yeah. what are your best memories of growing up? Just just having fun, really. Um, Summer times, you know, when, when when the days are long and you can just, just go out and again, time 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 will change now. But me growing up, you know, it, it you know, it wasn't too bad. People didn't I don't know, have to we used to always lock our doors, but as you said, you, you didn't really have to worry about them sort of things and yeah, you were out of your mate's house and you know, you could you could be trusted because we didn't have, I don't know, maybe mobile phones like you do now. So you mm -hmm. could Tell your mum where he was going. It was up to you to get back at a certain time. But just yeah, just 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 enjoying and and and, and playing lots of sports, having fun experiences, and just yeah, just just learning a little bit about life, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, what achievements are you most proud of? Well, other, other than my um, two children, I'd have to say um, just. Just me just making it professionally, I suppose. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of sacrifice and a lot of uncertainty. There's ups and downs, but, you know. Just just to be consistent in 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 always trying to to set out to do what what I did and what I aspire to, because you have a lot of people who put a lot of faith in you, a lot of support and commitment, and they do that not wanting anything back from it. But it's always nice to to then. To then you know make a league debut or 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 play actual games and and, and achieve things in the game and mm -hmm. and almost you know thank them for that because I suppose it is down to you in terms of hard work and stuff like that um you know you have to be responsible for your for your actions but without all these other little links it's is it makes the task of um your dream a lot a lot harder. So um yeah, just 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 doing that really. Okay, so on that note, what has your biggest challenges been? The biggest, I, I suppose, proving myself right in a sense because through 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 any 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 sports, through through any walk of life, um, there's there's always challenges, and mine I I, I fortunately made it. Um, professionally at Huddersfield in terms of making it, I mean, by playing a league game. I didn't really play lots of games there or make the impact I would have liked. But when I was sort of let go from there, I, I, I initially went to Scotland 
and um, for okay. a team, yeah, played for a team called Hamilton. But the, the first year wasn't too bad because I played a few games, but the second year I didn't play at all. And then I was let go, so I was almost like unemployed um, and basically in limbo because I'm not playing many games. It wasn't very easy for me to just walk into another team. So um, I had to really like knuckle down and, and you know, I'm not ashamed. I, I, I went, I went um, on trial at a few few clubs. I wasn't, I'm not ashamed to say that. And eventually, you know, I, um, I settled at a team called Tramia where it was definitely an opportunity that I could, you know, get to follow my dreams and, and try and make an impact in the game. And from there, it's just little steps until, until you know, you, you get, get to a better stage in your career. Because at Huddersfield, we were in a League One. So anyone who knows football, the pyramids, obviously the Premiership, then it's yeah. the Championship, then it's like League One and League Two. So Tramia was League One at the time. So playing in League One, that was sort of the league that Huddersfield were in. So I was obviously pleased to, to be competing against Huddersfield in the same yeah. league. I thought I was sort of trained to play. But then I went to Stevenage in League One. And um, the first year wasn't too bad. But the second year, we actually got relegated to League Two. So that was a real sort of moment where, I don't know, not a wake-up call. But again, you have to fight for your dream. And I, I went to... To, to Burton Albion at the time, who were in League Two. And the next two seasons, we actually got promoted to the Championship, which is one below the Premier League. And for, I don't know, a, a club the size of Burton, that's a fantastic achievement. And to be part yeah. of that was, 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 you know, history and, 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 and very, very memorable. So that's definitely wow. something that I'm proud of. Wow. It, okay. it just seems that there's a lot of perseverance there. A hundred percent. Where where does that come from in you? I think um I think it, it it definitely can be trained. Um just just growing up, you know, we had that instilled into us that, you know, persistence does beat resistance. So if you keep banging down the door, like for instance, we've we've got kids, I know the younger generation will, and you know what it's like if if your kids nagging, I want that chocolate bar, I want that chocolate bar and, and and you say no, no. Eventually, if they keep the keep at you. You know, you, you you might end up giving in. And I think we yeah. we all have that kid in us to to make that approach about anything. And you don't have to accept no as an answer. Um, mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I know. Um, I know people have obstacles in the way, but it's up to you to find a route to 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 bypass them to get to where you want to be. Because if you really, really want it, and you truly work hard at it and work smart. You'll 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 always overcome them them obstacles to achieve whatever you set mm -hmm. out. To. I agree. So like, I agree. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's a good definitely. It so is. I have a question. So you've played in these different leagues. Have you ever felt you've had any barriers because of the color of your skin? I'd, personally, I would say no. Um, okay. I've been quite fortunate throughout my career in 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 in, in I don't know in, in in the fact that I've I've always played for good managers, good clubs, and and and, and I suppose good people. And mm -hmm. I'm of the mindset that at the end of the day, even if even if there were these these you know subtle obstacles or or, or not so subtle obstacles, it's up to me mm -hmm. to find a path or or whatever to 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 try and navigate them. So um, I I always try and I I just I just try and put responsibility down on 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 me and I, I'm I'm always accountable for my actions. Um, I try not to make excuses and 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 just just break down break down barriers like you say because of course you know every everyone has experienced some sort of you know some sort of prejudice and racism. And, 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 and stuff like that in our lives. We would all be lying if, if we hadn't. And you know, it's just it's just a case of trying to to be bigger than it, I suppose. And 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 you know, in every walk of life, in every walk of life is ignorant people and people that yeah. aren't as educated or so you, yeah. you put that down to them. And I suppose once you start looking at other people and, and how they value you, but look at them as if their it's, it's a reflection of, of their own insecurities so don't take it personally 
realize, you know, it's, it's, it's not my problem. I'm still going to be how I am and respect your, your opinion and whatever, but you yeah. won't hold me back. I think we can overcome anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, love, I, I, love, I love the mindset. And I think the more and more we speak to people who, you know, doing fantastic things with their lives, we're seeing a common, you've got, there's a theme coming. Don't you see it, yeah. Sophie, is in how yeah. people think and their yeah. mindset. And it, it, it just shows how you, you are able to succeed because, like you were saying, you take responsibility and you always see a way past that. You don't let it become a barrier. That's excellent. And that's what we want young people to see, that they can achieve anything. They've just got to believe that they can. And if there's obstacles or anything that comes in the way, there's always another way. Always. Right. Of course there is. Yeah, really, really well put that. Definitely. Yeah. On this journey, what has inspired you? And, and what has been your motivation? So, uh, again, just, just in a sense, you, you like I said before, you do want to want to repay that faith that a lot of people have put into you. But then, ultimately, you, re you realise, you just, like I said before, you just want to prove yourself, right? And when you set, I, I, I'm a type of person, if you set out some, to do something, I really want to do it. Um, I really want to look at it and, and do it to the best of my ability. So, again, you, I, set, I suppose set short term goals, medium goals, and long term goals. So, that was always my sort of theme. And I think a lot of people can overestimate what can be achieved in the short term, but then mm -hmm. underestimate what can be achieved in the long term. So, yeah. Just by, for instance, setting out to try and make my, make it make a professional contract by doing that, making League One, like I said, which was the league that I was made, and then I don't know, playing five games in a row. I know it sounds so silly, but just setting these small things because they they really do add up to a bigger picture. And mm -hmm. of course, if you take this this sort of thought process and apply it to anything in life, I think it, it does break down. Any sort of any 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 massive aim what you want to achieve because it makes it realistic. Any sort of realistic goal, you know, is possible. And then once you're ticking off them milestones and them little things that you're doing, you get you get to the get to the the the, the pot of gold at the end, hopefully. And that's mm -hmm. that's that's what's inspired me. And just to you know, now as, as you get older and, and, and different you know, through, through the ages, you have different motivations, like obviously my, my, my kids and, yeah. and things like that. It's, it's, it's all for them and, and, and just trying to make, make, make them proud and, and not, um, not, not embarrass yourself, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, so as a dad, are you quite a hands-on dad? I'd say, yeah, def definitely. But I think that's just, just um, down to my personality a bit. And obviously the, the, I've, I'm fine. I'm quite fortunate. I've got two two really good kids. So um, yeah, I, just, yeah, no, I, I love spending time with them because, like you say, you can get caught up a lot in in sport and things like that. And if I've had a bad game or if you've lost a game and you're not happy, you know, you get yeah. home and kids are so innocent and they they, they don't see all that. So uh, that's a, <laughs> everything into perspective because you know when when you it's just you or you and your your, your partner or whatever. Um, you just you just so focused on that, but kids yeah. they, they teach you a lot about yourself, I suppose, and and and, and a lot about life. So it's, it's just it's just really nice, I suppose, that you can you can spend that time and make nice memories with them because you know they 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 only young for a, a short period of time, as you guys will know with yours. So. Yeah, definitely. So tell me, what's a normal day in the Aikens household? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, not normal day. So yeah, we. I, I I usually go quite early now because because of my family. I um even though I play for Burton, which is about it's about an hour and a half away from Huddersfield. So yeah. it's my seventh season, but I've travelled all the time. So I, I always drive. I'm always spending time in the car, which a lot of people see that potentially as an obstacle. But I try and uh, like I, I I I love I love reading like books and and like um, listening to audio books and podcasts and stuff like that. So. I try and make the most of my time and do, do do my business when I'm when I'm moving. I suppose in the, in in the car, obviously all legally and whatnot. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh, no. um, 
<laughs> yeah, um, so I, I, I'm normally up, you know, we, we get ready because they're up as well. And then um, I'm, I'll just go training. We'll, 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 um, we'll be there, you know, maybe three, three hours, maybe an hour and a half on the, on, on the training pitch before we back. And it's just, a lot of it's just recovery and, and making sure you're always ready for the next game because you have mm-hmm. maybe two two or sometimes three games in a week. So we'll play on a Saturday. Sometimes we'll play on a Tuesday and then a Saturday again. So, you know, it's it's, it's hard on the body. So it's just, mm-hmm. just just resting, resting and recuperating, eating well, you know, season. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and just looking after yourself, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, so tell me, what's your favourite food? What do you like to eat? Food. Oh, um, <laughs> I, I do like um, you know a bit of home cooked food, like in, like obviously you know with, with West Indian parents and stuff, and yeah, and mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I, I love um, obviously the, the home home cooked soul food, and it's just it's just hard to eat sometimes with with your playing sports because uh, you know yeah. you, you have. You have to eat a little bit more bland and a bit more repetitive in terms of you know your grains or lots of pastas, you know, yeah. rice stuff like that, and just just get a lot of carbohydrates in. But um, in in terms after a game, I, I do love a curry. I like I like a nice curry as well. I'm just just mm-hmm. it's all sorts of food. I, I I live for food. So if if I was to 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 um to tell you going to the details of it, I'd be here forever. But yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, lots and lots of food. Yeah. Can you cook? I can cook, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I try to. I like to think I can cook. But, uh, <laughs> but it turns out all right. What's it, your speciality? My speciality? To be yes. fair, I can... I know, I, it, might, it, might, it might sound a bit boring, but I, 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 I can cook like brown stew chicken. I quite like that. Um, okay. Seasoned okay. and nice. Yeah. 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 I'll send you the pictures to prove it as well. Um, All right. <laughs> yeah, a shepherd's pie as well. I make a decent shepherd's pie with a bit of a twist as well. So yeah, just just put my hand to a okay. few things. And just, yeah, experiment a few things. See what I like and what I don't like. I'm sure you guys are better than me. Oh yeah, we like. Can't we like say you know. Some men can cook. Yeah. <laughs> some true. men can cook. So I I can't say anything now because yeah. we went out to a restaurant recently, and um, I keep going on about this, but. We had a seafood boil that was made yeah. by someone who doesn't eat seafood, and it's a man, and it was the I had the best flavors. No. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So we're we're not got no endorsements, but Sugar King yeah. Grill House. <laughs> what about is it? It's in Batley, right? And it's uh, oh, it is. Oh, it is. I'll send you the I'm link. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All, all I do is shout about it. We're not endorsed by them, but you know what? <laughs> I love the food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, Lucas, um, you mentioned that when you're in the car, sometimes you listen to podcasts, you read books. Tell us what are you listening to? What are you reading? Also, so I'm, I'm, I'm a. I love psychology. I love history as well. Um, because in sport, I think, um, I think most of most of it. If, if you could put it percentage wise, I'd say about fifteen percent is is maybe talent, you yeah. know, um, and 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 the rest the rest of it is is, is all mental, you know, eighty five percent of it in terms of dealing with success and failure, um, you know, preparing yourself right, um, and and sometimes you know as, as you're growing up, your friends are, are doing things that you potentially can't be doing because you're at home either resting up or 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 even training or do it doing extras you know so how to deal with that is, yeah. is 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 massive um and i just think as well navigating with different people i, I quite i quite enjoy learning how don't know how the mind works and, and how people work because you know if you can sort of understand and i know everyone has intuition to 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 realize why why someone's doing something but if you can go a bit deeper in it and truly understand why i find mm-hmm. it interesting and i think it can only you know add to how you deal with certain situations not only on the sports field but in in life as well and mm-hmm. and history as well I think, uh, his, history i think if if you if you look back um from from where you've been you can almost see where you're going so um mm-hmm. it's, it's it's always good 
looking at other people as well. So, you know, so autobiographies who, and uh, people who have who have been in your position, who have done it and people at the top of the game. And just like you say, you, you, you find them common themes and mm. doing that and implementing it into your life, I think can only set you in good stead because if you're looking at role models who have made mistakes, perhaps you might not need to make that mistake. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, young people are going to make mistakes. We'd all be lying to say we've sat here, we've, we've never, ever made a mistake. But um, it's, 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 it's how you deal with them. And um, if you can minimise their mistakes, it's, it's definitely a, a way to move forward a lot quicker. Definitely. Yeah. I agree. I think my mistakes have shaped me. <laughs> 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 so true. Definitely. Yeah. We, had, um, we did ask some people to send in a few questions. Yep. And we did have a few, so yep. I'm going to ask away. What is your favourite song? My favourite song? Wow. On the spot there. <laughs> to be fair. You know you better choose your wedding song, innit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, there's, there's, there's too many. There's too, honestly, there's too many to just say one. All right, just, well, just say something that you listen to a lot and, you know, you're feeling. Yeah. Oh, you don't yeah. know the name, do you? But you can sing it. Is no, it I, no to, to, <laughs> it, honestly, that, there's, there's, there's that many, so... Um, I don't know. I'll go with um, Marley, Three Little Birds. I oh, that's, okay. Yeah. Cool. I think he speaks a lot of sense as well, Bob Marley. You can listen to him and it's, it is yeah. like a, it's a proper lesson. So, yeah, a lot of his lyrics resonate with me, man. What is okay. the best advice you have received? The best advice I have received is, again, accountability and responsibility. So just, yeah, take, take responsibility for your actions um, and, 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 and don't make excuses, really. Mm. Okay, so another question. Do you have any hobbies away from football? I do, yes. Yeah. So um, I, I quite enjoy... Um, most of my hobbies now revolve around my kids. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I enjoy, like, um, trampolining with them. So sometimes and I, it's bad in it, but, like, I'll, I'll, I'll say, oh, yeah, we're going trampoline. It'll be mainly for me. It won't be really for them. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, nah, just, 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 just stuff like that. Um, and it's always nice just to get away as well, um, whether, you know, in England mm. or whatever. I know we can't really travel as much, but yeah, uh, there's nothing better than just spending quality time with your family and just getting away from, from everything, I suppose, and, and relaxing. Yeah, well, you definitely. You need to be careful trampolining, though, you know, injuries. No, ankles. ankles well. so I didn't want to jinx you. Yeah. Mm, so I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> what will be will be. Uh, try. Yeah. Okay. So, so tell us, how has life changed for you um, since COVID? Has anything had to be drastically different, or is it still being quite the same? To be well, because we don't normally get a lot of time off. Um, really having that extended period with your family that that's really been nice, and I think a lot of people are in that same situation. It will have, um, you know, and it's, I just, my life slowed down, I suppose, in terms of, you know, you're always on the go, you always have somewhere to be. Um, again, you're just you're almost autonomous in terms of, you just, you know, continually, continually doing doing whatever you have to do. So to stop and just just en enjoy simplifying things, I suppose, it, it makes you realise, you know, if, if things can stop, what really matters to you? And yeah. obviously, health, health is really, really important. You know, you realise um, your family is obviously probably the most important thing to you. But just, 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 just love it. Just I don't. I, I love just the, you know learning more as well about myself, and it gave me a real opportunity to sit down and reflect and 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 learn more. I suppose, like read more and just, 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 just study and just try try and be a better person as a whole. I suppose. Yeah, I think yeah. I've been reading. So more. I've got a question here. Yeah. Have you? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, got a question here. Um, we 
We've got to ask you it. Um, so this is from Lee Van Brown. So he yep. wants to know if you've had to deal with racism while playing. And yep. if so, how did you deal with it? To be honest, the only time I've really dealt with racism, I was, I think I was about 12. And um, I'll never forget, we were, playing, <laughs> we were playing Middlesbrough. So I was playing for Huddersfield, we were playing Middlesbrough. And um, I was playing striker. So I was up against some big sort of defenders. And um, I think that, like, I tackled one of them or something. And um, when, when the ball went out of play, he said, he called me a, a black B. Okay. And, I, and to be fair, I, 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 I was shocked. I was in shock. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, what, what, did he, what did he say? Sort of thing. And he, he repeated himself. Do you know what I mean? Like, you black. Da, da, da. Oh. So, um, <laughs> wow. I, I'm not gonna. I was. I was. I was in shock. So I. I. I didn't know how to react. I suppose. I. I, I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. You know, when you're so young as well. And. Uh, and um, yeah. I suppose because I because I was playing for Huddersfield as well. I just. I, I went straight over and saw my coach at the time and said like, look, um, this has happened or whatever. And to be fair, they, they reported it and, and and I'm not really sure what happened. What what happened after, but. Um, yeah, that's I'd say that's the only real time that I've actually had it to my face. I've been quite fortunate over then there then. I've I've never really um had any on the on, on the pitch, I suppose. Not even really be quite lucky. I've not really heard it from fans, but I suppose once you're in that zone anyway, yeah. you block all the noise anyway. But yeah, that was that was the only time and I didn't really react. I was I was more in shock to be honest. Real, real shock. Yeah, I would have been the same. Yeah. Um another question is What's your favourite all-time sweets from back in the day? Back in the day, you know. Um, sweets that you enjoyed eating. <laughs> refreshers. I really, really like them refresher sweets. You know, um, the lemon <laughs> flavour and then the strawberry ones. Yeah. yeah definitely yeah. them. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for sweets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking now. I'll, sh I'll show you some. I always, I always, <laughs> I've got, like, a little, little sweetie thing. Can you see this? Yeah. Hold on, one second. <laughs> oh, wow. I've, got to, I've, got, I've got tons of stuff. Oh, this is my other one with a little. No. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> are, you, are you watching? Are you joining us? She's just relaxing, are you? <laughs> you know, for me. Yeah, go on. This is so sweet. I love seeing a father-daughter relationship yep. because I will read such all the time. You can read negativity about black fathers. Yeah. And you see it where they'll say, "Well, they're not there. They don't look after the children." Yeah. But you, so if for all the ones that people that are watching, you're at home tonight, aren't you? And you're yeah, you know yeah, wiped yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, and you're taking care of the children, and you're doing this life for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, that would be um, to be really, really good, which I'm, I'm quite <laughs> you know because you know yourself how rare this is, but they've been now they've been really, really good. And like you say, um, <laughs> I, I suppose that's a, that, I don't know that's that's an old stereotype. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's I suppose it's up to us to make a change, and and everyone has that opportunity to do that. Everyone's circumstances are different. So in terms of me making a blanket statement. I can't yeah. really do that. At the end of the day, if if if, if potentially you, you you can't be with with someone, um, mm -hmm. I suppose you can still be there for your children and support them. And because that, that's what you realise that when kids only want you, they're not bothered about material things. You know, they just want love. They just want you. I just want you to be there. So yes. that's that's all. That's all you need. It's it's not it's not it's not much. Aww. No, I agree, and I think for us every time we we have a live. It's yep. nice that we can change the narrative because I'm getting fed yep. up of reading about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't see that in my day to day yeah. life. So I think it. having it here now and it's there for people to see. Yeah. They've got to understand it's not like that. <laughs> yeah, it's so so true. It's so so true. And that's that's why I suppose yeah. in, in 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 all of this, sometimes you do have to quest question it. And I don't know. There's there's good and bad in in in, in all in all races in all societies. You know what I mean, yeah. so. Just some things that you see, you just got to take with a pinch of salt, and not not yeah. really pay too much attention to it. Control what what you can control. The I mean, and then the rest just just let it go. Definitely. And you've got to also remember the narrative is created by the media. This so, is it. Yeah. 
is it? You know, it's how yep. it's in storylines and stuff like yep. that. So this yep. is the reality, basically. Yeah, it's so, so true. Yeah. <laughs> Another question. So, Lucas, talking about media. Yep. <laughs> so, media isn't something really that you do. Tell me why, because obviously I've been having a look through and you don't do a lot of interviews. No. Why do you avoid the media? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't. I wouldn't say I avoid the media. It's just in terms mm -hmm. of like social media. Um, don't get me wrong. It's like any, anything. It can be a double-edged sword. You do some fantastic yeah. benefits. can keep in contact with people and, and networking and, and building and growing businesses or, or whatever you want to do. Like you guys are getting your word out through it. So like... I'm all for this, you know, like it's all nice and positive. But then some people can take a snapshot of your life without meeting you, read something mm -hmm. and, and totally take it out of context. Well, for me, yeah. I'd, 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 I'd hate it if someone did that to me without actually meeting me or seeing, seeing, seeing what I was like as a person. So it's, it's almost to, to limit that sort of impact. And just, just the fact, like, I think there's only so much you can say, you know, especially, I don't know, when you're, when you're in a... Um, I don't know, in, in, in sports or whatever, there's, there's certain things you can say and get away with and, you know, you, you say your sound bites and you can describe a football game. But other than that, um, if expressing myself, I'll, 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 I'll try and do that to the people close in my, really, really close in your circle and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's just, just something that I've, I've, I've never really had and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I miss it. Put it that way. I really don't think I miss it. I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. You're not, you're not missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's predictable, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Lucas, um, if you wasn't doing football, yeah, what what would you be doing? To be honest, I um, I like all sorts of sports. Um, some some so maybe something like that. Um, I. Again, I'm 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 really I'm really intrigued in how people work and 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 what what makes people do things. I might have gone down that route um, in terms of like you know psychology. I, and what, one thing I really I, I, I like helping people. So it's funny how you guys are saying to me, "You've got me on tonight," but I take my hat off to you guys. You know, like as role models because you guys go out and really make a difference to a lot of people's lives. Um, you inspire a lot of people. You make things like this happen and. You know, you, you give back to, to the community. So um, I'll, I'll, I know it might sound crazy. I'll never get, well, I get, but I'll never really get why people look up to, I don't know, certain sports people, fair enough. But you guys are the real heroes, you know, like you really, really are. And I, I'm not just saying that, you really, really are. You um, you change lives and, you know, you've, you've, you've got your own things going on as well. But you you really impact people on a personal level. So, no, I'd... Um, if I could be, you know, do ten percent of the job that you guys do, I'd, 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 I'd be very, very happy. Oh, you can you. one day when you retire. <laughs> I, I was thinking. <laughs> you, I was thinking that, yeah. you can join the team. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You see, no. I see you as a role model, and I don't know if you see yourself as a role model, but I feel like the journey that you've had, it is so for me, it's touched a place in my heart. And I really feel that if a lot more young males actually got to see how you've actually carried yourself along this journey mm. and the mindset that you've had, but the will, you know, because having will changes so much, but having the will to just keep on going no matter what, that would be so beneficial for them because they don't get to see a lot of real people. It's true, uh, yeah. Yeah, they need that realness to say, okay, so you grew up here on that road. Yeah, wow. yeah. Yeah, and you're you're showing them what you've done because I don't see that it's all about flash cars and no, what you've got. No, no. no, they wanna they wanna be able to be able to access you and speak to you and find out how you've got to where you've got to. Yeah, and it's not exactly. always about the financial game. Sometimes it's just, just about having yeah. that. Yeah, just the conversation <laughs> with you. It's so they, true. It's so they true. want they want to know how do they have that mindset? Like yeah. what you're reading, what you're yeah, listening yeah. to, little yeah. things that you can pass on. They can just watch. I remember watching one thing um, on YouTube, a link that someone sent me. And I can actually say that watching that, it was by Lisa Nichols. She's, yeah. um, she's a self-development coach. I watched yeah. it. It literally changed my life. Yeah. Just watching yeah, it, it. It's them little things. That's what I mean. Them little, little, subtle things that can be life-changing. 
and then you passing that on to someone else and, yeah. and you know, having the same effect because that's all it takes isn't it one small step and the journey begins i suppose but no definitely, definitely. so what's, what's next for you next for me now is just to i suppose um with football you're always looking to you know i've, I've, I've obviously I'm in League One now again, so um, it'd be nice to to get promoted again, perhaps um, back to the Championship. Um, we 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 we've not had a great start, but it's it's, it's still early days, and I believe yeah. we can go around. So playing at a higher level again would, would be really really nice because once you get a taste of it, it's like anything you want more. So um, yeah, just just that, and just just being again just. I, I try to judge myself on who I was yesterday and not anyone else. So um, yeah. just just doing that, making small strides and just just trying to make myself and you know my family proud and and and, and continue to progress. So you're 31 now. 31. How long does that leave you? 31. 31. Yeah, 31. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So how long does that leave you in career terms in regards to football? Do you go to about 35 or? Are not, you not, yeah, not now. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> normally it's 35. So my retirement age is 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 sort of 35. But um, okay. I, again, the challenge is on to to go a lot longer. Um, I've mm -hmm. played with a few players who have played till they're 30, yeah, even 40. All and, right. Uh, yeah. So got some got some good role models. You know, a, a guy called Ian Good is someone who's at Tramia. He played for Jamaica. He's a legend in Jamaica. Okay. Um, and. Uh, another guy um, called Lloyd Dyer, he's 38 and, and he was still playing. So oh, I, I try not okay. to put limits on myself. I just yeah. try and take okay, it each day as it comes, um, not get too far ahead. And and I, I want to try and play as long as I can. So that, that'd that be nice to do with that. But then after, obviously, the challenge is on to find something to replicate this because football, my job, I, I call my job a job, but it's not a job. It's something that I love. So, you know, I'm fortunate to be in a position where I can keep fit, do what I love to do, have time with my family, and, and all these things. I know, I know, there's a bit of sacrifice and stuff, but I'd never class it as as, as a job. So, yeah. replacing this could be difficult, but you know, I think doing what you guys do is probably just as rewarding as what I do in terms of you know you you see, you'll see people grow and, and 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 blossom, and then you know hopefully come back and, and tell their story to other people as well to inspire them. So. What you guys do really is full circle, and and it's, it's, it's you know. Do you guys find your 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 job difficult? God, I find it difficult because I have a big mouth, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to learn how to cool myself. Yeah. But with young people, I can be myself, and I love that I can be myself. Yeah. So they get full sofa. They don't get any of. Yeah the second face that I have where I will yep. hide who I am. But because yep. of that, I get to see these rough diamonds that I just think, ooh, what, what do you need? How do we yep. help find your path? How do we help find you? Yep. And then just seeing them grow. I feel like I've got like loads of children yeah. that I haven't <laughs> had given birth to, but yeah. I love it. I, I love it. This, you know, for me, yeah. it was a total career change, but I yeah. love it. I love these young people. I do. <laughs> Really, really, what did you do before? Sorry, oh gosh, I was an operations manager, so everything was about policies, procedures, sales okay. targets. Yeah, loved yeah. it, but yeah. this is something out. This is this is my purpose. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Working with people, yeah. No, I, that. I, I was just about to say the same thing. It's not yeah. a job, it's, it's yeah. actually a purpose. Yeah, um, we get up every day and we're happy. And I yeah. think the only thing I ever strive for in life. Is happiness. Yep. Perfect. And I think, I yeah. It brings me genuine happiness yeah. knowing that. Yeah. We, it's all about legacy building, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you you spot on. You spot on. And yeah, exactly. You know, so you, you you've you've hit the nail on the head. You found something that's meaningful to you. And that's why you get out of bed every day and, and you you thoroughly enjoy it and immerse yourself, embrace it. And yeah. you know. you've got to, but I guess you've got to find out who you are first before you can do yeah, any yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, and we found out later on. So I guess yeah. for us, what we try and do is work with young people to find out who they are when they're younger. Yeah. Because the sooner they know who they are, 
the soon as they will get on their journey. So oh, yeah, watch out, world, watch out. <laughs> yeah, that's so, so true. No, that's good. And I look forward to seeing seeing your young people develop. Wow. So on that note, oh, we have a few already. Yeah, good. Yeah, we do. But on that note, Lucas, looking back in hindsight now mm. on your life, if you was to speak to the 16 year old you yeah what would you tell what would you have told yourself now looking back to be honest there's this i'll be on i'll be full, fully honest with you, there's not loads that I change because i'm i'm a firm believer in you know you have to make these mistakes you have to make these decisions on 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 your journey and i, I think each in what I, what i would say is is just just enjoy it because some things are just meant to sort of be. So if you if you can enjoy it and just trust in the process what you what what you're going in and going through, then uh, I don't I really don't think you have to worry. I know a lot of people get anxiety and and worry worrying worrying about the future, I suppose. But just literally just con control the things you can control. You know, yeah. keep your head down, keep focused, and just en enjoy it. Enjoy the memories that you're making. Strive to make memories, I suppose. Mm -hmm. you know, when you're older and you're, and you're maybe in your rocking chair, that's all you have, your memories. So <laughs> it's true. As long, oh, yeah. yeah. And as, as long as you stay true to yourself, then there's, there's not a lot that can go wrong, I personally feel. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, you know. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm just so, yeah. on her. So I guess do we have any more questions? I've I think I've gone through the ones that I've received. And I think, yeah, I've gone through everything that I've had. I'm just overwhelmed because when we set out to do this, yeah, we didn't know what the impact would be. Mm. It was just a thought. Let's look at local role models, people who are doing positive stuff. Mm. But I think for us, it's made us realize that. There's many, many role models around us and we need to change the narrative of what young people see as role models because yeah. we've got people around that can guide them, support them, who are accessible and we need to be putting these people in the spotlight and we need to be linking you to the, the next generation. Definitely, definitely. It, it, and you, you're spot on. That's something that I'm, I'm a firm believer in because um, when you read history, I know... Um, History is written by the winners, but if we if we can get the younger people, I don't know, looking at role models who they can look up to and realize that they actually came from greatness and yeah. they weren't just you know something little and and significant, yeah. and they realize how great they are, they'll realize what they can become as well. So I think you're, you're spot on there. But um, definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm very honoured for you guys to um, have me on. I really, really am um, because, like you say, I. I it's interesting. You're you're my role model. You guys are role models. So to have me on is very very humbling, and I, I do appreciate you you having me on and let me speak. You know, you know, you came highly recommended. Um, <laughs> when I know you did, and it was a case of we we was looking for inspirational males, and when I got told about you, I was like, we need him. We need him. And it was like, so you need, I was like, you need to make yeah, this happen. Yeah. And, you know, we're on it because you may not see what we see, um, but you are a massive role model for our community. Um, and it just needs to be, you need to be out there more and we need to showcase you more. And I guess that's what our job is yeah. to make sure that these young people know who you are yeah, and what you've done and they can hear your story. So, you know, and I also want to add to that is that we are very proud of you. Oh no, thank you. Seriously, because we we know what it is to come from the areas that we've come from, yeah, and to still persevere, yeah. And despite statistics, you know, mm. and perceptions, yeah, you've still got through, and you've still yeah. made it, and you're still happy, and you've got your family, and you're doing, mm. you know, amazing things, and. We just need to lift you lot up. Do you know what I mean? No, I hear that. Thank you so much. No, do, that's... So thank you for making all those sacrifices because it's a younger generation that are going to see that mm. and going to think, do you know what? Because he, he came from here and did it, there's a chance I can do it. 
definitely it's worth, it's worth trying definitely and and I'd, I'd i'd like to sort of finish on well not even finish on i'm, I'm not sure but in terms yeah. of everyone obviously everyone has talent and whatnot but i would definitely say that talent can only get you so far it's the other thing so and I, I know it's, it sounds it might sound boring and monotonous but it's discipline you know it's getting there on time doing what's asked of you and and and, and obviously keeping yourself you know on the straight and narrow and you'll find a lot of time the people that m might be not the best they might not be the, the best player they might be third or fourth but because they've got the other bit the discipline and the professionalism definitely it doesn't matter what level you are at you can <laughs> always tell yourself right and get into good habits and that repetition of the good habits then lead on to other things and someone will see you someone will 100 percent see you and think i like how this person carries themselves i'm going to give them a chance and that'll open doors for you it really really will best advice ever <laughs> wonderful oh thank you so, so much on that is so for no more questions no no we've just got a nice comment that says we need more inspirational males that's nice so yeah so lucas i guess that's the end of the interview now yeah. we want to thank you so much for giving us this time thank the thank girls as well bribing them with, with them things when nah, they're good they're good thank and you so much we work with you in the future as well yeah, I, look, I look forward to i really really do i really do fantastic okay. no, thank, thank you all who has been watching thank you all for tuning in and thank you yeah Lucas and Lincoln. we'll be back next week. So next week we have the Jamaican rugby team because we figured <laughs> that we'd take it back to some of our roots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got three, three yeah. of them coming on next week to talk about their journeys and to yeah. also talk about the, the Jamaica's in the World Cup next year. Yeah. So we want to hear all about that. So that's what we're doing yeah. next week. So Amazing. Keep up, the work, guys. Keep up the good work, honestly. Fantastic. Thank really, really you. Tough. Thank you so much for today. Thank you, guys. Take care.